Yo, yo, want to do YouTube, Sports Shoes, Main Live and Direct. Uh, I'm going to try to do a series on uh, Pro Tools tutorials. Now, I don't know everything, and there's a lot to learn, but I will show you things that have helped me work in Pro Tools better, speed up my workflow, and just get certain things done that make it easier. Because I came from Crew Loops, and, you know, as you can tell, everything's a lot different, but... I basically do everything the same way I would in pro, uh, Fruity Loops. I love Fruity Loops. I still use Fruity Loops. I rewire it to get extra RAM, use extra RAM and extra instruments when I'm running my Pro Tools sessions. Now, lately I've been having this issue with uh, CPU overloads and uh, just problems with CPU. So one of the things I do to fix that is you can, one, raise your buffer, two, lower your processor count until they go away. But once you figure out where you like your playback engine settings at, you can basically just, the best way, what my setup is, let's see. Normally I had this at 128, but because we got a lot of sessions going, or a lot of instruments going right now, I'll leave it at 256 just to make sure that this video works the way it is. But if you get 9128 errors, lower your processor down one more, that way you're operating system and your RTAS have more of your CPU to use to actually use those because Pro Tools hogs up your CPU. But anyways, to the tutorial, what I'm showing you is how to hide and make inactive your MIDI tracks and your instruments once you got your tracks the way you want them. So say you're playing your keys and you got them the way you like, bounce them down to audio and then you can hide and make inactive that virtual instrument so it's not taking up the CPU the audio file is going to take up way less uh, RAM and CPU than it would a virtual instrument being open and playing those MIDI notes. So what I do is what everybody does basically in Pro Tools, but to hide and make it active. So right here we got an eight-bar loop of just drums. This is what it's going to sound like. This is how I add it. So yeah, that's the way I like my drums. That's the way I like it for the beat, real simple and clean. This is a beat I did for uh, Dougie. Uh, I'm going to put a link to his Twitter and YouTube in there. Make sure to follow him and check out his music. He's a real dope artist from the local area. Um, but once I got my drums the way I wanted it, you set up an audio track and you bounce it down to audio. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I'll, uh, I'm going to set up a whole series. So this video ain't even going to really count. I'm going to go back through and do them all, make sure I get them all lined up because you can't go from one step to another if you don't know a step before that. But for now, I'm considering or I'm thinking that you know how to bounce the audio. So what you do is once you bounce your audio, all your tracks down the audio, you come over here and you hide and make it active. That way you disable the uh, CPU or your you disabled your virtual instrument to save on your CPU. So you just right click it, hide and make it active. So now they're gone. Now, this is what you would end up with is your waves. And then this way you can go through, mix, edit. So here's the drums in there. Yeah, so if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, if you got any buddies that have been asking you questions and it's something that I may be able to help with, send them over and let them know to like and subscribe the page and there'll be more videos coming soon. So for now, here's a little sneak peek of the beat. So 
uh, it'll be up for now. Once I, I get the recorded track done and they uh, send me the track back, I'll make sure to post that. But yeah, make sure to go check out Dougie at Trap Youngin. I'll make sure to have the links in the description. You can check out his videos. I'll put a link to one of his songs in the uh, description also. Make sure to follow me at Shizzlemane, S-H-I-Z-Z-L-E-M-A-Y-N-E. And uh, yeah, if you like, uh, like the video, like it, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm out.